What's up guys, it's Josh back with another video and today I want to dive into the exciting world of the new Ubuntu 24.04 LTS code name Noble Numbat. And based on my research, that's a anteater from Australia. Now they just released this for beta testing and this version is packed with features and improvements that we've all been eagerly waiting to check out. So whether you're a seasoned Linux user or just starting your tech journey, you'll find something in this release to get excited about. So grab some coffee and let's get to it. Now, first up, let's talk about what's new in Ubuntu 24.04 LTS. Canonical has just released this beta version, and it's our chance to get a sneak peek before the final release hits on April 25th, 2024. And starting with the interface, Ubuntu is stepping up its game for integrating the latest GNOME 46 desktop environment, ensuring a smooth and modern user experience. Now, under the hood, it runs on the robust Linux kernel 6.8 bringing enhanced performance and security. And for those who appreciate a seamless setup, the updated desktop installer now includes accessibility features and new installation options. You can choose between the streamlined default selections or the more comprehensive extended selections. And I'll show you guys a little bit more once we get to the install of the beta version. And for the adventurous among us, the installer now supports guided ZFS installation, both encrypted and unencrypted. Though, keep in mind, these are still in the experimental phase and you guys will see it. Now, Ubuntu is also extending its compatibility horizon with out of the box support for Raspberry Pi 5 and an all new graphical firmware update tool called Firmware Updater which simplifies keeping your system's firmware up to date. And let's not forget about network management and security with NetPlan 1.0. You guys know I do videos showing you guys how to set up static IP addresses on Ubuntu server. Well, this latest release allows you to manage your networks a little bit easier. And then also the security improvements, including patches against recent XZ backdoor. And you guys probably seen a video where I covered that. Now, one cool feature that I saw as well is enhancements to ADSYS Active Directory certificates auto enrollment. And this ensures your system remains secure and reliable. Now, lastly, the updated Ubuntu App Center and the inclusion of major software updates like Java 21, Python 3.12, and GCC 14 cater to developers looking to leverage the latest programming capabilities. Now, if you download this beta release, just remember that it's perfect for testing and exploring new features, but might not be ideal for your production environment yet. Before we move forward, I wanted to give a quick shout out to CIQ, the official partner of Rocky Linux. Rocky Linux is a Linux distribution that is intended to be a downstream complete binary compatible release using the Red Hat Enterprise Linux operating system source code. The project is led by Gregory Kurtzer, who was the founder of the CentOS project. So check out Rocky Linux at CIQ co now let me switch over and show you guys how to get it right fast i'll have the link down in the description of the video but it's at releases.ubuntu.com forward slash noble you'll find it and of course i had a link down in the description of the video so check down below but they have a desktop image available for you that's a beta version as well as the server installation media there's a netboot tour ball you can check out as well so like i said i had a link down in the description of the video so let's check out the new improvements to the install so you can know what you're getting into when you download this as well as the final release because it will be pretty much the same so let's get to it all right so let's quickly run through the install right fast like i said this is that beta version so select your language let's go through there now accessibility so this is new you know what i'm saying seeing hearing i'm gonna skip all this because i don't need any of it but it allows you to customize you want to to your needs before you set up you can change them later in the system settings i'm not even going to touch them just yet i'll look into it once the final release is put out there so let's hit next there select our uh, keyboard layout 
and then right here connect to the internet use a wired connection so this is a new option up in here as well or at least a new new look to it because based on what i remember from the previous installers it just automatically connects to whatever internet connection you're connected to and it'll kind of skip that but you do have the option you do have your options in here right now so let's hit next there now you could try ubuntu and install like before this was in the beginning it'll allow you to go right to the desktop you know like it'll have that that menu right in the front basically saying try ubuntu or install ubuntu we're gonna go right into the install boom so you got interactive installation and then you have an automated installation so i'm gonna do the interactive so you guys can see the options now we can go default settings or extended selections and this is an offline friendly selection of office tools utilities and web browsers so that's essentially the same thing as before you can get that base level of ubuntu with defaults or you can get the extended selection let's select extended so let's hit next there install our recommended proprietary software so third-party software for like graphics and wi-fi hard. and then also for additional media formats that's always been there you can select it if you want to i'm gonna select it just to go through the process that way as well now here we go how do you want to install ubuntu same thing as before essentially selecting how to set up your hard drive essentially so erase and install ubuntu let's look at these advanced features so here we go this is what's new so you got your use lvm use lvm encryption that was there before erase this and use zfs and then you also had the option erase this to use zf and encryption and you can also enable hardware backed full disk encryption as well and all three of those options are experimental i just kind of wanted to show them to you so you guys can see you might want to play around with it. i'm gonna play around with it later i don't want to run into any any problems by running the experimental while recording the video you guys definitely want to check it out that's why i wanted to show it to you and then you can also go through your manual install do all your manual partitioning customize it set your home directory on a different partition if you want to you know all that good stuff so let's hit next there go down create our account let's go down and type that in let's go ub 24 b beta and actually let's just type out beta for the name i'll be playing around with this one for for a couple days and up until they actually released the new one so let's type in the password again and require password one login which i'm glad they had that selected and then use ad that's dope right there they had that option right here so let's hit next select our location it automatically saw that i was on the west coast so los angeles specific standard time so it should automatically pick up where you are locally if you need to change it just go in and change it I hit next and then here is a review of our choices just like in previous ones it'll show you basically what you selected through the install so let's go down here install and wait for it to finish all right so the installation is complete as you can see that's a super cool image up there of the anteater and so let's go on restore it and i'll just kind of bring it up so you guys can kind of look at the system a little bit all right so we got our ubuntu 24.04 beta noble num back and so i want you guys to go through this and play around with it at least the beta and then you can check it out for yourself you know and see what the system has to offer before the release on april 25th all right so that wraps up my quick look of ubuntu 24.04 lts noble numbat beta and i hope you found this overview helpful and express your interest in testing out some of the new features and if you're excited as i am about what ubuntu is bringing to the table why not give it a test drive yourself and like i said you could just head over to the official ubuntu website i'll have the link down in the description of the video and download that beta but thanks for watching if you enjoyed this video don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the keep it techie channel and make sure you ring that bell to stay up to date on all the things linux and tech also if you got any questions or you want to share your experience with ubuntu 24.04 beta drop a comment down below i love hearing from you guys until next time keep learning keep experimenting and as always keep it techie